spread over just 0.44 square kilometers. Vatican is a small city-state and enclave located within Rome, Italy. The seat of the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican is more than a place of pilgrimage. A must-visit for anyone who has been bitten by the travel bug, the Vatican is a treasure trove in every sense of the word. It is home to some of the most significant works of art across centuries, drawing history buffs and art enthusiasts alike. Here are the 10 things about the Vatican you didn't know. Ten, Vatican City is the smallest country in the world. With an area of only 0.44 square kilometers and a population of 825 people, the Vatican is the smallest country in the world. It is probably the only country in the world that can walk around in less than one hour. What makes it even more interesting is the fact that the country is situated within the city of Rome. Encircled by a two-mile border with Italy, Vatican City is an independent city-state that covers just over 100 acres, making it one-eighth the size of New York's Central Park. Vatican City is governed as an absolute monarchy with the Pope at its head. The Vatican mints its own euros, prints its own stamps, issues passports and license plates, operates media outlets, and has its own flag and anthem. One government function it lacks, taxation. Museum admission fees, stamp and souvenir sales, and contributions generate the Vatican's revenue. 9. St. Peter's Basilica sits atop of the dead, including its namesake's tomb. A Roman necropolis stood on Vatican Hill in pagan times. When a great fire leveled much of Rome in AD 64, Emperor Nero, seeking to shift blame from himself, accused the Christians of starting the blaze. He executed them by burning them at the stake, tearing them apart with wild beasts and crucifying them. Among those crucified was St. Peter, disciple of Jesus Christ, leader of the apostles and the first bishop of Rome, who was supposedly buried in a shallow grave on Vatican Hill. By the 4th century, an official recognition of the Christian religion in Rome, Emperor Constantine began construction of the original basilica atop the ancient burial ground and what was believed to be the tomb of St. Peter at its center. 8. Caligula captured the obelisk that stands in St. Peter's Square. Roman Emperor Caligula built a small circus in his mother's gardens at the base of Vatican Hill, where charioteers trained and where Nero is thought to have martyred the Christians. To crown the center of the amphitheater, Caligula had his forces transport from Egypt a pylon that had originally stood in Heliopolis. The obelisk, made of a single piece of red granite, weighing more than 350 tons, was erected for an Egyptian pharaoh more than 3,000 years ago. 7. For nearly 60 years in the 1800s and 1900s, popes refused to leave the Vatican. Popes ruled over a collection of sovereign papal states throughout central Italy until the country was unified in 1870. The new secular government had seized all the land of the Papal States, with the exception of the small patch of the Vatican, and a cold war of sorts then broke out between the church and the Italian government. Popes refused to recognize the authority of the Kingdom of Italy, and the Vatican remained beyond Italian national control. Pope Pius IX proclaimed himself a prisoner of the Vatican, and for almost 60 years popes refused to leave the Vatican and submit to the authority of the Italian government. 6. Benito Mussolini signed Vatican City into existence The dispute between the Italian government and the Catholic Church ended in 1929 with the signing of the Lateran Pax, which allowed the Vatican to exist as its own sovereign state and compensated the Church $92 million, more than $1 billion in today's money, for the Papal States. The Vatican used the payment as seed money to regrow its coffers. Mussolini the head of the Italian government signed the treaty on behalf of King Victor Emmanuel III. 5. Popes did not live at the Vatican until the 14th century. Even after the construction of the original St. Peter's Basilica, popes lived principally at the Lateran Palace across Rome. They even left the city altogether in 1309 when the papal court moved to Avignon, France after King Philip IV arranged for a French cardinal to be elected pope. Seven popes, all French, ruled from Avignon and the papacy did not return to Rome until 1377, by which time the Lateran Palace had burned and the Vatican started to be used as a papal residence. 
Much repair work needed to be done, however, because the Vatican had fallen into such disrepair that wolves dug for bodies in the cemeteries and cows even wandered the basilica. Instead, he would stay in France. It might have been because of the influence of the French king, who certainly thought it would be to his advantage to have the leader of the medieval church in his own backyard, as it were. So all the infrastructure of the papacy suddenly had to be moved and overlaid and worked into the infrastructure of Clement's home base of Avignon. While the new pope was French, many of the papal officials who would be continuing their services to the Holy Father were Italian, and not all of these officials were technically clergy. 4. The Swiss Guard was hired as a mercenary force The Swiss Guard, recognizable by its armor and colorful Renaissance-era uniforms, has been protecting the pontiff since 1506. That's when Pope Julius II, following in the footsteps of many European courts of the time, hired one of the Swiss mercenary forces for his personal protection. The Swiss Guard's role in Vatican City is strictly to protect the safety of the Pope. 3. At several times during the Vatican's history, popes escaped through a secret passageway. In 1277, a half-mile-long elevated covered passageway, the Passetto de Borgio, was constructed to link the Vatican with the fortified Constel St. Angelo on the banks of the Tiber River. It served as an escape route for popes, most notably in 1527, when it likely saved the life of Pope Clement VII during the sack of Rome. As the forces of Holy Roman Emperor Charles V rampaged through the city and murdered priests and nuns, the Swiss Guard held back the enemy long enough to allow Clement to safely reach the Castel Sant Angelo, although 147 of the Pope's forces lost their lives in the battle. 2. The majority of Vatican City's 600 citizens live abroad As of 2011, the number of people with Vatican citizenship totaled 594. That number included 71 cardinals, 109 members of the Swiss Guard, 51 members of the clergy, and one nun inside the Vatican walls. The largest group of citizens, however, was the 307 members of the clergy in diplomatic positions around the world. With Benedict XVI residing as a Pope Emeritus in the Vatican, the population will increase by one when a new Pope is named. 1. The Vatican Observatory owns a telescope in Arizona. As Rome expanded, light pollution from the city made it increasingly difficult for astronomers at the Vatican Observatory, located 15 miles from the city at the Papal Summer Residence in Castel Gandolfo, to view the night skies. So in 1981, the observatory opened a second research center in Tucson, Arizona. The Vatican conducts astronomical research with a state-of-the-art telescope that sits atop Mount Graham in southeast Arizona. Unfortunately for conspiracy theorists, its name is Alice P. Lennon Telescope and is part of a larger facility named the Vatican Advanced Technology Telescope, or VATT. The Vatican shares space in Mount Graham with International Observatory. Within that greater facility, there is a telescope called the Large Binocular Telescope near-infrared spectroscopic utility with camera and integral field unit for extragalactic research, nicknamed Lucifer. Do let us know in the comments if you've ever visited the city. Thanks for watching.